Hello friends, this is Imran. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about how we can import and export the project and uh, how we can import or export or save any part which is saved in the project. So let's say, uh, let's start from the upper bar. Here we, we can see there are so many uh, logos, the functions are there. So first of all, I just need to highlight one thing. Like let's say if when I put my pointer on the home screen, you can see in the bracket it is uh, control plus N is written there. So that is actually showing us the command for that. So not all of the functions has the has the command, but some of them has. Like that, just let's say if I put my pointer on import part, there is no command for that. But if I put my pointer on the save project, it has a control plus shift plus s command same as that if i want to load any kind of project that is the command is there that is control plus l so let's say if i want to uh, open any 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 project that is actually saved in that dot magix format so any project i am talking not about the part i'm talking about the project a project which is saved in dot magix format we can upload or we can load from by clicking on the load project so when when i click on it and if the project is uh, is saved uh, anywhere in in your browser location you can simply click on it and you can open it same as that you can directly go to the same folder and click on the project directly and it will open up and then let's say if i have already i have uh, if i want to upload any kind of part in my project so for that i just need to click on the import part button and from there you can see there are like say, different kind of softwares which are available so let's say if i want to upload str file i can click on that or, or uh, right now like it is always the this format setting is always set on all parts available so when i or when this window appears so it will it is showing me all the formats which magix is is actually supporting so here I can see the STR format is there, the SketchUp format. These all formats I can simply click and open in the Magix. So let's start with the with this STR file. I'm I have clicked on it. I now I just need to open it. So once I get this uh, file here, here and now, uh, let's say. I want to save this part I have worked on it the file is now fixed I now I just need to save the part I just need to save save the part into any other format so what I need to do I just need to click right I just need to right click on the part there you can see uh, an icon that is save part as once I click on that you can see the formats are available there I can save the part as a uh, STL, STL file, I can save as D, DXF, DXF, OBJ. So these are all the formats which in which we can export or save the file. We just need to select our designation, the designated folder and we can simply save the part. There is one more thing which I need to highlight is that let's say if we have so many projects, so many, so many parts in the project. And now we need to uh, save all the parts together. In Magix, we can do that. So what we need to do right now, you can see here in the right side, there is no part is selected. And when I click on any part, this dot, the white dot actually highlighted. Same as that, if I select two objects, two white dot, dot highlighted. And here you can also see like two projects, two, two part are selected. So after selecting the part, I just need to click right, right click, and then I can select the part as, and then I can select all the part one by one, or I can select all of them, and then it will save with the name which is already given there. Same as that, I can also save from by clicking on there, like the command for that is control plus S, and once I click on that, I can, I will also open the same option. So friends, this was the short introduction about how we can import and export the project, import and export the files. Let's forward to the next video. Thank you.